Welcome to Walks with Moss. Today we're going to a lake. Maybe we'll find some blueberries. We'll definitely get lots and lots of exercise. But we're not going fishing because I left my reel behind. So my fishing rod and tackle are staying in the car. And this is just going to be a hike. No fishing. But that's okay. It's a steep, strenuous hike. Wasn't sure if I wanted to haul a fish out of here anyway. I didn't like the looks of this. So I decided to park probably about a third of a mile from the trailhead. We'll find out. It's been ages since I've been here. Yay, we found the trail. It's been a long time since I've been up here. I'm pretty sure the last time I was up here was when I took my children with me. Although I've been up here with Phil and Daniel as well. Had a great time on that trip with my children. We went swimming. They really enjoyed it. Here's a big old Douglas fir, about 700 years old. There's lots of Rushula brevipes here on this route. The short stem Rushula. I wasn't going to pick this, but the stem was already broken and rotten. Here's a couple of grisettes. I, the name has changed re recently. They used to be called Amanita vaginata, but now they're called something else. They are edible. But since they're Amanitas, I'm not messing with them. I've never eaten one. I sure admire their beauty though. I love the, I think it's called striate, the way this, you can see the top of the gills on the edge of the cap. Gorgeous mushrooms. Here's a gorgeous big bolete. I haven't seen many boletes this year. I'm not sure what this is. I don't really want to pick it. It's uh, got spots on the cap, almost like an Amanita but it's definitely a bleed. I want to pick it to look at it closer, but then it's really sturdy and solid, and I just want to let it do its thing, too. Some sort of bleed. Maybe a bleed is Chrysenteron because of these cracks here? I don't know. Oh, here's another of that same bleed right here. Oh, it fell over. Yay. So we can take a look at it. It's got a fuzzy cap. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out what that is. Oh, it looks like someone cut it off and then put it back. <coughs> Probably my daughter. She's been up here recently. Yeah, fuzzy top bleat. It's getting steep now. Here's another mushroom that I should know the name of but can't remember. The first time I tried to come here to this lake, I tried to come up the backside via the bar creek and that didn't work. Next time I tried to come up here, it started snowing. And it was deep, deep, powdery snow. And I got about to right here, and I couldn't see where I was stepping. And I'd never been on this trail before. So I gave up and went back. But eventually I made it up here. Look at these giant red huckleberries. Wow, nice ones. I better eat a few of those. That's the trail. This is a really steep section. It's a little bit damp and slippery. I might fall on the way down. I didn't bring my trekking poles because this hike is just too steep for trekking poles. Go on, Bella. Go on up. Show everybody how steep it is. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Go on. Keep going. It's just straight up. Here's a cool looking mushroom. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's a funeral bell. Deadly gallerina. I'm not sure. But isn't that gorgeous? And here's a coral mushroom. And apparently none of the coral mushrooms can kill you in this region. I think the rule is stay away from the red ones. I can't remember. I started eating them last year though and I liked them. I gotta look up again and remember what rules I was using for eating them. Bella is way down there. And she's going to have trouble getting back up. I'm glad I put her skid plate on her. Here's kind of a cool moss I don't see very often. Hookeria. It's got such big translucent leaves it reminds me of a liverwort. Let's see if we can focus in on this with the hand lens. Hookeria. I forget the full scientific name. There's two varieties. One variety's got pointier leaves. I've never found that variety. Hookeria loosens? Something like that. Here we go. Blueberries. 
one of the big reasons I wanted to come up here this time of year. These are the high bush blueberries, and they're pretty good. But the low bush blueberries that grow way high in the mountains are even better. I don't know if we're going to get up high enough today for those. That would be great though if we did. It's a pine spike. Crogonthus tomentosus. Yay! Here's the pine spike up close. I think Bella just stirred up a yellow jacket's nest. Taking a little breather on this log. The lake is up above that head wall. I hesitated there because I heard something buzzing. I'm still a little bit worried about being stung. Not too much farther to go now. The trail's going to wind its way around the head wall going up that way. There's definitely been a mushroom hunter on this trail ahead of me. Keep seeing signs of cut mushrooms. Maybe they found a king bolete and cut the bottom off here. Don't know if I'm going to find any choice edible mushrooms. But that's okay. I've got so many chanterelles, I don't even know what to do with them all. We've almost made it to the crux of this climb. Wow. Thanks, Bella. <laughs> it's just around the corner here. Bella's already gone up it, and now she's coming back down too. Right there. Here's the crux. The head wall's there. The lake's on the other side. Just got to get up this and we will be through the crux of the hike. Bella, you go up there again. Show everybody what it's like. You got four heel drive, so you do okay. We made it. I've got a picture of my son coming up this spot right here. He's got a big old smile on his face. He lives for this kind of stuff. That's a wall of pillow basalt there. It was extruded under the ocean and then got pushed into the continent. That's part of Silesia, the crescent formation. This part of the Olympics is almost all Silesia. Woo! Getting a workout. I'm actually feeling pretty strong because I've been doing so much work in my yard, pushing wheelbarrow loads of stuff, hauling brush, chopping firewood, digging holes. So even though I haven't done a lot of strenuous hiking in the mountains this year, I've still gotten a lot of exercise. So I'm still pretty strong. But yeah, I'm absolutely winded coming up this thing. But that's okay, so is Bella. Yay, we're just skirting around the edge of the head wall here now. We've pretty much made it up it. There's so many blueberries here. It's wonderful. I think Bella's been getting water by going down to that creek down there from time to time. I'm not sure though. But she could definitely make it down there and back if she got thirsty. Bella, do you want water? Nah, she's not thirsty. We have found a slime mold. It's a pretty one. Maybe we can get Seek to ID it. Yay, the trail is leveling out now. Now it just mostly follows the contour lines to the lake. Ha, I see the lake. There it is. Cool. I thought the lake was more around that way. There it is. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. There's our gorgeous lake. Let's go around to the far side, though, because that's where the uh, best shore is. And all these wonderful blueberries are between us and the shore. It might take us a little while to get there. I'm going to take some of these home. I brought some containers for carrying them. I'm going to give some to my friend Carol. She's in her late 70s and she can't get up in the mountains anymore. And it makes her sad. 
but I like to bring her little tastes of the mountains every once in a while. That makes her happy. It's such a great year for berries. Look at how big these are. There's some absolutely gorgeous Amanita muscaria here. Don't mind all the dog panting. I have to hold on to Bella so she doesn't stomp them. Go on, go on. There we go. Amanita muscaria. And those are an indicator for King Belit's. And what do we have here? A King Belit stem. Just a stem. Maybe someone picked it. Oh, there's another stem there too. Yeah, I'm guessing my daughter was here picking King Belit's. That doesn't mean I can't find some. It'd be cool to find a King Belit. Anyway, look at this beautiful Amanita muscaria. Yeah, here's another King Belit that someone found before me and cut. I guess it's possible it could be a fiber Belit, but I think that was a King Belit. So we are most definitely in the King Belit zone. Here's another one here too. So whoever was hunting for these wasn't having any luck finding ones that weren't rotten or wormy, so they just kept throwing them behind. Ooh, something's crawling on me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Someone came up here and harvested some king bolets. Here's where they cut it. It looks like it might be too late, though, for me to find any. Doesn't look like the other person found any that they could keep. There's the remnants of a king there. There's one back there too. Yeah, these king bolites that grow up here in the Olympics, they're almost always just absolutely filled with worms and just a waste of time. So what I like to do if I see a king bolete up here is I just squeeze the stem to see if it's soft and wormy and if it is, then I don't pick it. I don't have to pick it, tear it apart and destroy its beauty to find out if it's wormy. All I have to do is squeeze the stem. Here's a scaly chamfrel. They recently named, changed the name of it. I think it's Gomphus turbinata now. It had a different name when I was learning mushrooms. At any rate, it's not something you want to eat. It causes indigestion apparently, so I've never tried it. We've almost made it to the shore now. Just around the corner here. Our progress getting here was uh, greatly impeded by loads of giant blueberries. Here we are. What a beautiful place to sit and have lunch. And I've got it all to myself, so I'm not going to name it because I don't like crowds. I wouldn't be half as happy here if there were other people with me that weren't part of my party. So I'm not going to name this lake, but I've certainly given plenty of clues. Let's see, we'll just make our way around to the little beach over here and we'll have our lunch. Here we are. Got a nice little beach here that looks a bit like a glacial moraine to me. I bet there was a hanging glacier here during the last ice age. It got stuck, or it created this head wall actually. Or something along that line. Yeah, hanging glacier. I know there's fish in here. My friend hooked one when I was here with him about 10 years ago. Maybe we'll come back with a rod and a reel. Frustrating that I forgot my reel because I set a reminder. But I'm glad that I realized I forgot my reel before I went to the trouble of packing my rod all the way up here. It's so peaceful and wonderful up here. And I've got about five packets of coffee and they have 110 calories in them each. There's newts rising to the surface. There's lots of big blueberries I can eat, and I can't hear any airplanes. This is awesome. And this hike was not as difficult as I remember it being, so I can't be anywhere nearly as out of shape as I suspected I was. Yay! That was a nice lunch break, and I saw lots of baby fish in there, so we might come back later and see if we can catch some of them. Look at this giant bolete. Wow! I'm not sure what kind it is. I'm not going to pick it, but we can peek underneath it with the camera, maybe. Big, beautiful bolete. What kind of bolete are you? Are you one that stains red? I think I'll just take just this tip 
right here so I can just look at it. There we go. Oh, it looks like it stains blue. There is a gorgeous Amanita muscaria right here. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And there's some babies coming up too. And two more there. Wow, so gorgeous. This is a really cool trail. Oh, here's a purple court. First one of those I've seen this year. I think those are edible, but don't taste that great. That's a monster. Look at the size of that cedar tree. Here's a cool mushroom. I'm pretty sure this is the fried chicken mushroom, but it's just a little bit bigger than what I normally see. And I'm still not real confident in my idea of the fried chicken mushroom. So I'm going to leave it behind, even though it is a tasty mushroom. Now we're going to head down eat our lunch at the car, and eat lots of delicious blueberries on the way to the car. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.